Okay, cloisonne. Uh, this is what you're going to do uh, to understand and, and prepare for cloisonne. Um, you're going to go to Canvas under cloisonne. There's a few modules. Let me just publish these. So you've got them. These are three assignments that you need to uh, to prepare for. So cloisonne, you're going to go to intro. You've, we've got intro and research, presentation, and then brainstorm sheets. Okay, so cloisonne, intro, this is a French word, I think, but um, it's an ancient technique. So basically, it's metalwork. Um, in recent times, basically, you're soldering wire onto a plate, thin wire onto a plate, and, uh, and then filling that plate with either um, resin or um, with your soldering and then you're finishing it with um ornament inlay of stone or different different uh different different objects it could be stone it could be resin it could be uh, enamel right so it's just these different things so the catch the thing that you want to be aware of is that you are creating these different compartments to uh to create something unique jewelry one we had uh, our pendant our our uh, our uh, sweat solder pendant if you guys did that and and we just cut pieces and laid them on top this time we're doing kind of creating a bezel that will hold the resin or stone or whatever we put in there uh, for that design so you are here's here's some uh, some cloisonne some examples We've got just these four examples, just really quickly. I uh, I chose these. This is pretty simple. A circle, more complex with these designs of the turtle. A lot of different wiring in here, um, and then and then this one. Uh, all of them are going to be our pendants. So pendant or like a keychain. So what your assignment's going to be is you're going to go online to Pinterest, Instagram, Google Images, whatever it is. You're going to find 10 different pieces, uh, 10 different images to the – upload 10 images to your Google Doc. Under each picture, evaluate the jewelry in a few sentences. Uh, what aspects of the piece of jewelry do you like? What could be incorporate – what could you incorporate in uh, – how could you incorporate these aspects in your own jewelry? Okay, you're going to submit that Google Doc. You're going to share the shareable link found in the top right corner. Um, I need to be like here. There you go, right there, up there. <laughs> I have to think backwards. Um, right corner of your Google Docs, and uh, and you'll be good to go. So you can Google this. Here's That's the turtle I found. Um, these are all examples, examples of cloisonne. The, you've got this metal here, right? You've got this metal, and it took me to a different spot. You've got this metal here that's separating these these compartments, and that's what you've got to be aware of. This is, I mean, these are chopped up rock that's then put in with resin. Um, all uh, different ones have um, enamel in them. They're just there's some there's some rings in here, bracelets, really cool stuff. Um, but it's all separated. You get thin wire, that bezel, and you're you're separating and finding different ways to uh, create your your image. Okay, so that's the first thing you're gonna do, uh, and you will submit uh, that Google Doc here. Okay, and uh, pay attention to the due dates. So after that, let's go back to modules. After you do that, you're gonna go to the presentation. Okay, now if you're smart, you would uh, pay attention right now. You're going to get your presentation, cloisonne presentation. Um, so here it is. You're going to learn how to solder plates and wires together, jump rings, enamel, epoxy color filling. So these right here are just some basic uh, examples of – let me move that screen in – of cloisonne, right? We, we learned about that. There's There's – the pendant circle, but then you have these different, the flowers, the basic shapes. Um, you got Wonder Woman. You just got uh, just random shapes, more complicated. Now, here's some student examples, okay? 
So I like you've got to have a minimum of three three compartments to hold the hold the resin in. So here's one, here's one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? And these are this is a heart, but other ones are just non-objective. Uh, here's some more. Uh, we've got an avocado, we've got snowbirds, something just that has color, the waves, ocean, and sky. Um, I like this one. This is, I, that could be anything. I don't know what it is, but pretty, pretty cool idea. You've got a jellyfish and then you have a, I don't, I, I think this was a geode that they were trying to do, but you've got these different compartments all separated with wire. Okay. So you could click through this on your own time, uh, the other presentation, and uh, and look at it and look with more in depth. Really small, a, a red bull, uh, an alien, and an octopus. Which is, these are really cool. You can get some really cool. If you get some good designs, some good shapes to fill, you can get some really cool um, enameling in there and epoxy, which is it, which is really neat. Uh, we've got the Minecraft pick, we've got a guitar, we have an elephant, all created by soldering these different pieces together. Um, uh, a plant and then a fish. And here are some more. And, and this is where it's kind of up to you on what you want to, how you want to portray this. You've got um, the different here, we've got Brazilian flag, don't smoke, right? So, and then we have Crew Jensen, the fish. Now, if you notice the difference between these, these were just really thick wires, really thick, um, the thick wire. Whereas Crew, uh, whereas this one, he did the outline and then he soldered on these thin, thin pieces of uh, pieces of metal, which is really, really good. And he spent a lot of time, and it turned out phenomenal. And I, uh, this is what you want to shoot for. You want to shoot for thin layers so that you don't have this bulky look. Not that it's bad, but it's it's not as bulky. Okay. So just be aware. Overall, you're going to be great on the overall look of your pendant, soldering joints, coloring, and creativity. So really, it goes back to those three things: complexity, craftsmanship, and um, creativity. All right. So that is the presentation. You're going to do that presentation. Perfect. Once we once you're done with that presentation, you're going to write down four things you need to be aware of when you're preparing your cloisonne pendant, and you're going to write down four initial ideas you have for your own pendant. You know, I want to do an animal, or I want to do uh, something uh, that's that represent. It's it's nothing specific, but kind of general. It's shapes, or I want to do my name, or whatever it is you want from from your experience. You're going to write it in the notes in this text block, uh, in the text box, and then you're going to submit it. After you submit it, it is now time for you to design. Okay, here's your brainstorming. And I, I know what's going to happen. I know what you're going to do. And uh, I'm going to try and, and help you not do that. You're going to download these handouts. These handouts should be done in order. Okay, if they are not done completely, if I don't like the the to the extent of what you did or the lack of effort you put into these, um, I'm gonna send them back and say, hey, redo it, redo it. So you're gonna get ideas, you have design, you have design two and mock-up. You're gonna print the handouts, you're gonna fill them out with pencil. Why? So you can return, so you can go back and erase and redo and, and measure, whatever it is, okay? You're gonna submit the forms by scanning or taking a picture of them and uploading it here and submitting them. So. Um, if you want to do, download them all, do work on idea, design one, design two, and mock up. So if we go to the design one, these are just ideas. This is getting the creative juices flowing. Your favorite places, important people in your life, hobbies, your favorite, um, your favorite quote, two of your favorite memories, your zodiac, uh, five words that describe you. Now you're then going to take those things and you can go online. Go online, find logos, find clip art, find simple things that, um, symbols that represent maybe these pieces, pieces uh, or these, pl pl uh, 
these pe people, places, hobbies, quotes, memories, whatever it is. Find them and just draw them there. They don't have to be specific. They don't have to be um, creative. Just get get some ideas on paper, right? If my if my place was Lake Powell, maybe I would find a, a basic idea of a houseboat, or maybe the outline of the outline of Lake Powell. If my hobby was skateboarding, maybe I'd find skateboarding. I'd get a a, a logo of a skateboard. If people were my family, maybe I would just get a stick figure of of the number of people in my family, um, memories, or, mem or a quote. If my favorite quote was um, The Man in the Arena by, oh, I can't even remember. Maybe I'd get the Colosseum from Rome. Uh, so, uh, so just be aware that this can be, you just kind of draw a logo, okay? So then we go to color pendant number two. Using the designs you came up with on the first idea paper, you're then going to get completely, you're going to come up with six original and different sketches for a pendant you'd like to create. Okay. Uh, don't forget it must have three different compartments and a jump ring. A jump ring is the, the little piece of metal that you can hook on a keychain or loop a chain through. Okay. The, so you're going to come up with six completely original. So you're going to take those ideas, Lake Powell, Right, and maybe you now get uh, a houseboat, but now you're going to draw your own houseboat, and you're going to put waves, or you're going to get a motorboat with a skier, whatever it is. But you're going to get on on one sheet, you're going to do one on one square, you're going to do com something completely different, completely different. Now you're doing sunrises and and beaches. Uh, the next one you're doing skateboards, something completely different, but it's well thought out. Okay, well thought out. Take your time. Um, so then we go colored pendant. Now this is design part two. Now that you have a good idea and you've come up with six completely different renditions of that those designs, or you're going to come up with, now that you have a good idea of kind of what you, where you want to go, you, you kind of know what you want to do, you're going to come up with six different renditions of one design, okay? So one, I'm sticking with Lake Powell. Maybe I have King of, I have Castle Rock with a sunset, Lake Powell 1. Then I have the outline of Lake Powell, Lake Powell 2. Then I have a motorboat with a skier, Lake Powell 3. Then I have uh, a houseboat in the sunset, Lake Powell 4. Then I have fish and me fishing off the houseboat or whatever, Lake Powell 5. Whatever that is, you come up with six. I'm I'm honing my ideas. I'm, I'm funneling my ideas from my colored pendant from general here to the first one to more specific in the second design, to this one, which is more specific, six different ideas, to now I'm doing my colored pendant, or sorry, my cloisonne, it was colored pendant. Now I'm, do, now I'm drawing, now I'm taking my ideas and I'm going to draw very specific. I'm gonna draw what I'm, all, all of the things, the, the, exact, the exact curve of the metal. I'm gonna color it, I'm gonna put the colors of, of the resin that I'm going to put in, all of those things so that when I look at this, I can say, yep, I know exactly what you as an individual are going to put or make with your pendant, okay? So make sure you do that. Um, you're going to make it two times bigger. So if your pendant is an inch, you're going to go two inches. If it's a half inch, you're going to go half inch or you're going to go one inch, okay? Two times bigger so you know, okay, this is my scale. Now I can scale it down. If it's really difficult to draw the detail, you're going to have a difficult time to uh, create uh, the cloisonne with the metal. So just be aware. I'm not telling you to not do difficult things. I'm telling you to know your limits. But once again, creativity, complexity, and craftsmanship. When you're done with that, you're going to uh, take a picture of them uh, or scan it, and then you are going to, uh, you are going to submit them here. I will look at them if I don't. If I think you did a shoddy job, you, I'm going to say, hey, I, I check back for feedback. I'm going to say, hey, go back to your ideas and um, rework this idea, rework this design. So maybe it's it's better if you check off your ideas and I'll give you points and say, yep, move on to design one and then design two and then mock up. Um, but make sure you don't waste your time doing shoddy work, okay? Uh, that's it. Stay out of trouble. Don't do anything stupid. And if you do, just don't do anything stupid.
Pulsed it out.